You are stronger than a tampon. Remember that. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Today's video is very special because it is about your first times. Your first time using a tampon to be more specific. I have gotten so many requests for this video and I'm so excited to finally be making it because obviously, you know, I make a lot of period related videos and if you didn't, now you do. Whether it's like period horror stories or knowing when your period is coming or how to swim with your period or even just period questions that you're too afraid to ask, I have decided this time we're doing very specific period horror stories and we're doing your first time using a tampon horror stories because trust me, it is 110% a horror story but don't let that scare you sis you can do it and you will do it one day really not that you have to so whatever if you guys do want to see more videos like this give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below follow me on instagram and my twitter so you can be my videos just like this one and if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more but enough about that i am ready to read some of these stories because putting in a tampon for the first time and using one for the first time can be very awkward but i don't want to let that discourage you from using them and i'm also not telling you to go out and use them honestly it doesn't matter if you prefer a menstrual cup or a pad or a tampon whatever makes you happy. Everyone's allowed to choose and everyone should be able to choose. But all that being said, go grab your tea and maybe even your tampons. I don't know. And let's get into this. I was 16 and at my boyfriend's house. I had never used a tampon before so he had to show me how to stick it in. I think it's really interesting that the boyfriend had to show the girlfriend how to use a tampon and how to stick it in. I mean granted the boy does some sticking himself so okay we'll give him that. But honestly can we talk about the fact though that this is such a great boyfriend for actually doing that and actually helping helping versus being a boyfriend that's like, ew, no, like call your mom or something. So this is a good boyfriend. We stand and we love him. That's all that matters. My friend got her period a few weeks after me. So I gave her a tampon and she put the plastic part in thinking it was a cup. Oh no. Okay guys. So when you use a tampon, there is a little plastic thing. That's just protecting the tampon because tampons are usually made out of cotton. So they want something to protect the cotton. So you know, the cotton isn't gathering all this dirt and bacteria that you're then going to stick up your body. So you do not leave the little plastic applicator. I think I might have to make a video on how to use a tampon. If you want to see that, let me know. My friend and I decided that even though neither of us were on our periods, we would try and put a tampon in. I went first and it got stuck. It took me like three days to get it out. Okay, first off, you don't want to leave a tampon inside your body for three days. I think the max you should probably leave a tampon in your body for is like maybe eight hours tops. And that's when you have your period. So another thing is you don't want to practice putting in a tampon if you're not on your period because it will hurt hurt. You are very dry down there. And since you're not bleeding, the tampon isn't really collecting something. So it's going to burn. Lesson learned. Unless you like pain, then go to town. I got my period at a water park and I had to use a tampon. My mom had to insert the tampon in me because I couldn't get it in the first time. Honestly, I think it took me like three tries of trying on a tampon to finally figure out how it worked. So I don't blame you. And girls, ladies, there's nothing embarrassing about asking another woman in your life for help. Whether it's like your mom, your sister, even your best friend. We're all girls. We understand the struggle and we are here to help each other through the struggle so no shame in it just next time be like okay mom but now how do I do it by myself there you go I didn't realize how the tampon went in so I had it in between my lips kind of like a hot dog it was later that day that I realized as I had leaked through my white jeans I never really thought of even trying to use a tampon that way but now I, I kind of understand okay fun fact <laughs> most tampons I think all tampons should have a little string it has a string because the string is what you pull when the tampon is inside you, not kind of hanging on to your lips like a hot dog, you know? Other than that, the string would be kind of pointless. At least now you know. But you know what? We gotta give you some points for creativity. Who would have thought of a tampon hot dog? Not me. Also, just maybe not wear white anytime that you're on your period. Fun lesson that we've learned on this channel over the years or months. I don't know. Time isn't real. I cut the string because I thought it was a string from my shorts. It was stuck inside me for two weeks. All right! A lot of lessons going on today. Do not cut the string. That's how you take it out of you. Also, wow, um, having a tampon in you for two weeks, not a good thing. I would say if your tampon is stuck and you can't get it out within like the first day, you might want to ask for some help or go somewhere for some help. Also, another fun little fact that I can tell you, what is up there won't leave that area. Your tampon is not going to end up in like your stomach now. It's down there. You can definitely get it out. It can't go anywhere else. So at least there's that. You might have to like do some digging, but it's definitely possible to get it out. Not impossible. I didn't know how to take off the plastic and it cut my hole. Ouch. Moment of silence for her. So yeah, this is why you want to take the plastic off. I thought I put it in all the way, but it was halfway out of my body. So I had to sit in my bathtub so it would fill up and I could take it out. Okay, but honestly, this is like 
kind of smart in a way. Nothing hurts more other than taking out a dry tampon, maybe like childbirth. But other than that, yikes. We gotta give you some points for creativity too, and now lesson learned. I don't really know what the lesson is. I guess just make sure that your tampon is in all the way so you don't have to sit in a tub experiencing pain. The first time I used a tampon, I put it up my butt and it got stuck and my mom took me to the ER. Fun times. That sounds like the opposite. But obviously, I get it, you're being sarcastic. I'm a cool cat, I understand the lingo. Hey, all you cool cats and kids, not sponsored by Carol Baskin. Anyways, here's another little fun fact for everyone. You have three holes, your last one in the back, that's your butt, so don't stick it in that hole, okay? You have a pee hole and then you also have the hole where the tampon goes. Now you know. That poor ER doctor must have been like, oh man, this is the third kid this day. <laughs> so I unpacked it and got scared to use it, then I unrolled it, placed it on my underwear, and wrapped it with toilet paper. Wait, like a makeshift pad? I mean, you might as well just go out and use a real pad if you're gonna do that. Don't let a tampon intimidate you like this, ladies, okay? You are stronger than a tampon. Remember that. And don't wrap it like a pad, just grab a pad, okay? I couldn't find it for three days. Guys, what are we, what are we doing wrong? The string, okay? That is the most important part of a tampon, the string. Don't cut it, don't lose it. How are you losing the string? Don't put the string inside you either. You need that to take it out. Not really sure what's going on, and I'm getting a little bit concerned. I put three in because my sister said you were supposed to use two or more at a time as a joke. Okay, listen, I already know this sounds extremely painful to some people and it sounds extremely crazy, but I have totally accidentally used two tampons at once. How? Listen, I just forgot, okay? I'm bleeding and I'm not thinking about anything. I just insert another tampon while already having another one in there. It is not as painful as you think, as long as you're not dry, but also try your best to remember when you used a tampon. But sometimes it happens. Usually not at the hands of older sisters being mean to us, but alas, here we are. I forgot I had it in and then I had sex with my boyfriend and he made it go really far inside me. That was a fun trip to the hospital. Oh gosh. I see that we're becoming very forgetful about when we have tampons in. Um, mm, I can't even say anything reassuring about this one. Like, yikes. Maybe just next time tie like an extra string to the tampon string so then you can see it and be like, oh wait, I have a tampon on. Or just so when it gets really lost up in there, you can just yank it out by this like 12 foot string. <laughs> God, this is horrible. <laughs> I have the memory of a goldfish. So two hours went by, I forgot I had one in and put another one in, then did that again and again. I had to go to the emergency room because I had five tampons stuck inside me. Okay sis, I thought three was like pushing it, but five? I think goldfish have better memories this. You know, do some like memory exercises because this is not okay. I could just imagine this person going to the ER every month and the doctor being like, again? <laughs> I squatted in the bathtub and as I was shoving it in, my uncle walked in. That's great. <laughs> and this is why always remember to lock whatever bathroom you're in. And also just remember uncles out there, knock. I forgot I had it in and left it in for over 24 hours and had to go to the hospital because I got an infection. See, this is what I mean about you wanting to have to remember that you have a tampon in you because because guys, so much bacteria can gather up in there and bacteria leads to infections. So now we know. You don't wanna have a tampon in for more than like eight hours. But anyways, I have a video out on like period questions and I have a whole section on tampons if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I should just make another period questions video. Yeah, let me know what you guys think because I'm like, we, we struggling out here, y'all. You guys just need to set like alarms on your phones or something at this point. I put it in the wrong hole so it burned. I tried to fix it by pushing it farther and then the string went missing. I was rushed to the ER because nobody could pull it out and my male doctor found it after two hours. It took a doctor two hours to find this tampon. Wow. What you got, Narnia down there? I mean, I guess we all technically got Narnia down there then. Okay, so here's another little life lesson. If it hurts, don't push it farther in. Okay, because then you're probably putting it in wrong or you're too dry to be putting it in. So fun little piece of advice. And maybe you can avoid a trip to the ER with your male doctor digging in down there trying to find your tampon that you lost. I was at my best friend's lake house and I couldn't find the string, I screamed while nude and in the shower. Her brother came in and asked what was wrong. I was hopeless, so I told him and he got tweezers as I sat on the toilet while he used tweezers to get a tampon out of my lady region. Um, this sounds like those one in a million situations and you know what? We gotta praise this brother. I'm not even gonna lie. It's a little bit awkward and sounds actually very awkward, but he manned up and he's like, I got you sis, grabbed his tweezers, let's freaking go. Also, that just sounds scary having tweezers anywhere near 
here. This area trying to rescue some tampons because like what if homeboy accidentally tweezes some skin? Like I said, the string is the most important part. If you don't want your best friend's brother digging up your lady region with tweezers, never lose that string. I used it the correct way, but I threw it in the sink in a public bathroom when I was done with it. Why? That is my only question here. Just why? The last thing I want to do is while I'm washing my hands and staying safe and sanitized and healthy is see a bloody pad in the sink. Tisk tisk. I had to pour water on it to get it unstuck. I would advise to use tampons on like more of your heavier days. Maybe not right when you're starting your period and maybe not when you're close to ending your period because you're gonna have less blood on those days and they might be a little more drier than usual. So another little fun hack. I was swimming and I only had pads with me so I actually made my own out of toilet paper. It was so painful. So in my last video, I think it was like swimming on your period horror stories or whatever. So many people talked about making makeshift tampons. Guys, whatever. Whatever you are planning to do, whether it's swimming, going to the beach, going on a slide or whatever, do not, and I repeat, do not make a makeshift tampon because not only does that sound painful, it also sounds very unsanitary and very scary. Don't do that. I can't imagine how messy that would be when the toilet paper starts falling apart. Yep, nope, not today. I took it out, but I dropped it and it rolled into the next stall and the girl screamed and ran out. I mean, can we blame her? Obviously, we're all women here. We've seen a bloody tampon, but there's something a little bit freaky about seeing someone else's bloody tampon, you know? If it's my bloody tampon, that's nothing. If it's someone else's, bye. I asked a friend who doesn't even have her period for help. She told me to push it up as high as possible and even if it hurts, that I should still go higher and that the pain is normal. I ended up shoving it so high that when I had to take it out, it took me an hour. The last thing you want to do is keep pushing it up higher and higher and going through the pain because it is not supposed to be that painful. And you don't really need to push that high up. Like when you look at a tampon, you see that little plastic applicator like after you pull the little stick of a tampon applicator and you hear it click that little section that isn't on the stick and that the stick is holding that's like how far up the tampon should go because that is what you stick inside you so you're not really supposed to keep shoving it up there because well then it turns really painful so yeah maybe don't take period advice from someone that doesn't have their period yet but hey it's a lesson you learned but all that being said I hope this video helped you guys out in a way I also hoped it maybe made you laugh which I feel like it might have done that I probably should make another period questions video or maybe a tampon questions videos, you guys let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any more period related videos you wanna see, also comment that down below. Now, shout out of the week goes to Lily. Thank you so, so much. If you do want me to shout out the week, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. But all that being said, like I mentioned before, I have a bunch more period videos on my channel that can binge at all times. And I also just have videos where I reveal your own secrets. Don't have to be period related because we love the tea on this channel. But anyways, all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.